Well, good morning. <laughs> I've had no sleep. But, good morning. I was writing a little bit last night, trying to write. <laughs> Not much of a writer at all. But there it goes. I remember thanks to my mother. She was telling me about it the other day, and I remembered. But the first time I wanted to make a movie, it was my friend, me and Josh. We were in fourth grade, I think, maybe fifth grade. We just started playing D&D. &D it just came out. It was like, love playing it. All over playing D&D. &D. We thought to ourselves, wouldn't this be great if we could get all dressed up in costumes and reenact this on film and make a movie? So we went to the, you know, library, everywhere we could go, trying to find information about filming. And we finally got a ride with his father, I remember, to Portland. I think it was a camera shop in the main mall. And we saw one of those freaking cameras that <laughs> probably weighed 800 pounds. And umpteen million, thousands of millions of dollars. So, our hearts sunk, but we didn't get the chance to do it. Well, I have a small bit of money, a bit more guaranteed coming, and I was going to start a restaurant, which I've worked at for people that know me forever, and I was going to start my own little place, because I have this little bit of money, but something inside me <laughs> said, wait, <laughs> wait, what? No. I knew that if I opened a restaurant, how hard I'd have to work. And I know from last year, almost blacking out in the kitchen I was working at a few times, how hard I do work. And I'm pretty sure that if I started a restaurant, it was gonna kill me. It was definitely gonna kill me. You know, those eight to 14 hour days on your feet I just and if you're working for yourself it's seven days a week I don't know if I could have done it then I started thinking about the shit I seen and thinking of what ideas I was working on a few years back I heard Anthony Cumius <laughs> talking about drones on the opening Anthony show I looked into drones right then. I was like all excited. I wanted to do something. Like I had this plan. I was like very excited. And then I looked at the drones and they sucked. They were unstable. The cameras were terrible. So I'm like, there's no way I can make my movie with those. So I sat there for a few years listening to people about directing and making TV shows and making movies. Anybody that would say anything or come up with anything. And they were going to put it on YouTube or anywhere. I'd watch it and see how passionate these guys were about making their stuff. Which was awesome because so aren't I. 
<clears throat> so after years of listening to smart people talk about the craft, research on the drones and the cameras, I think it's time. I think right now is time. And I have nothing. I have no one but myself. Nothing to worry about but feeding me, keeping me clothed, which is easy because I can live anywhere and eat almost anything. But I don't think there's anything left to wait for. I think it's time. So here's the plan. First comes a movie. This is what I really want to do. <coughs> and smoke weed. <coughs> but that's another reason why I'm here. Because this is going to be part of it. This is going to be a scene in the movie. For sure. I'll tell you about my first scene. You fade up and you just see a rock and a stream and a forest and you pan all through that and all of a sudden wheelers go flying by and then your objective changes and you start rising and rising and then you start chasing the wheelers through the woods shortcut to finally catch up to the wheelers who are now sitting at a pond and I was thinking of like a father and son or something like that talking and he could talk about the things he saw in Maine and he can't wait to show his kid all the things he's seen in Maine because that's what I'm basically doing because I have no kids. This is me showing my kids what I've seen in Maine. I could tell you more of the story but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> this is, I'll give you some bullet points, I'm sure, in later episodes, but needless to say, we want to, if we were looking at this right now, if you see the jetty alongside of the jetty, I want to come up there, go over, hover over by the lighthouse, go all the way around the lighthouses. It's going to be a cool shot. So that's the, the driving thing. That's what drives, going to be driving this business. But here's how we're going to drive it. First of all, we're going to set up, of course, our YouTube channel, which is up there now. I'm working on the... <coughs> I'm working on the dot .com right now. And the cart and what we're going to put in the cart. Oh, that's pretty cool. And stuff like cups, shirts, DVDs, because maybe I'll release some lighthouses, a lighthouse DVD when we do a few lighthouses. Oh, maybe a couple woods DVDs. Just a little something chart. Maybe put it on iTunes and DVDs. A couple extra dollars. Um, I plan on putting on the site the cart if you want to hire our services if you want to come in and you want us to film for you for a half an hour we'll have special rates up there which I've pretty much figured out I believe and on top of that we'd like to pitch some ideas to get the movie funded, of course, there's a few resorts I can think of, and just anybody that might give us a couple dollars, and that's why our merchandise is going to be there. If you like us and know us, and you want to give five dollars towards our movie, buy a mug. I'll make ten dollars. <laughs> that will go straight towards the movie. Buy a bumper sticker. I'll make two dollars. Any amount of money that goes to the filming of this because it's going to be a beautiful film, I think. I'm pretty sure. And also, I want to be on the cutting edge of this because there's going to be a lot of legislation up in Maine about drone use. And I want to show the responsible way to 
to use drones. I'm going to fly log plans, um, just have them all written out, everything, every day of shooting, you know, where I'm going to be shooting, what I'm going to be shooting, all the release forms are going to be with the day of shooting. It's going to be treated just like a filmmaker because that's what I'm doing. I'm making a documentary on me with a kind of a twist <laughs> with a lot of scenery. And I know a lot of places. 